All right, now we'll talk about the power of a product property, which is basically an application of the power of a power property. So I'm only going to give you one quick example here because that's all you're really going to need. Let's say we take the product AB and we raise it to the third power. Well, we can analyze this by rewriting it in expanded form. That's just going to be A time, A or AB times itself three times. Times AB times AB. And um, I'm going to go step by step here. Using the commutative property of multiplication, we can rewrite this as A times A times A times B times B times B. And that will just end up being A cubed times B cubed. So as you can see, if you have a product inside the parentheses, what you end up doing is distributing the exponent on the outside. A, B cubed is going to be A cubed, B cubed. So we can extrapolate a general property here. If you have the product A, B, and you raise it to the nth power, you end up with A to the n times B to the n. And that is our power of a product property. Okay, so let's use our power of a product property to simplify these expressions. Here we have a product 4x to the fifth, and we're raising that to the second power. So we know from our property that we can just distribute this outside exponent to both the 4 and x to the 5. So let's raise 4 to the second power, and then we're going to raise x to the 5, x to the 5, and we're going to raise that to another power. So we can begin to simplify this. Uh, 4 squared is 16. And then x to the 5 raised to another power 2 is just going to be x to the 5 times 2, and that'll be x to the 10th. Now that I've done number 1, you can use that as a guide to attempt number 2 on your own. Pause the video now and simplify this expression. All right, let's see how you did. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this product inside the parentheses and we're going to distribute this exponent, the 3. So basically we're going to raise 2 to the third power, x squared to the third power, and y to the uh, fifth power raised to the third power. So let's see, that's going to be 2 raised to the third power. That's going to be x squared raised to the third power. We know if we raise a power to a power, we multiply the exponents. So that's going to be x to the 2 times 3, which is x to the 6th. And then we're going to do the same thing for y to the 5. y to the 5 raised to the third power is going to be y to the 5 times 3, which is y to the 15th power. Now we're going to multiply this by this product, and we're going to distribute this outside exponent. So we're going to raise 3 to the negative 2 power, and we're going to raise x squared to the negative 2 power. Here we're raising a power to a power, so we're going to multiply our exponents. X to the 2 times negative 2 is just x to the negative 4. Now, um, using the commutative property of multiplication, I'm just going to take all of these terms and I'm going to put uh, the ones that are alike uh, next to each other. So here's a numeric term, 2 to the 3. Uh, here's 3 to the negative 2. Then I'm going to put that next to x to the 6th. And then x to the negative 4. And then finally, I've got y to the 15th. Now, why am I doing this? Now I can start to simplify. So 2 to the 3 is just 2 cubed. That's going to be 8. Um, 3 to the negative 2 is just going to be the reciprocal of 3 squared. So that's going to be 1 over 3 squared. And to save space, uh, I'm going to simplify this right now. 3 squared we know is just 9. So that's going to be 1 over, the, 1 over 9. And then... Here we have x to the 6 times x to the negative 4. And since we have like bases, we can simply add the exponents uh, using our product of a power property. Um, so that'll be x to the 6 plus negative 4, which is x squared. And now we have y to the 15th, y to the 15th power. It's simple enough.
Now, uh, since we have a fraction here, we have to look at all of these terms as fractions. So that's just going to be 8 over 1, x squared over 1, y to the 15th over 1. And when we multiply across our numerators and our denominators, we end up with 8x squared y to the 15th over 9. And that can't be simplified any further. So that is our final answer.